Hello everyone, today I am going to show you how to install Chrome 100 on Windows XP, using one core API. First, get one core API. One core API can be downloaded from their GitHub repository. One thing to note is that you'll have to download it by cloning it, or in other words, instead of clicking on releases, click on the green code button, and click download zip. Once you've finished downloading the zip archive, you can extract its contents anywhere. Once you've extracted everything, you'll have to install updates in a specific order. It may take a while to install everything, so please be patient. If you're prompted to restart, click do not restart now. Now, install these updates in this order. App Compat Installer, Base Installer, New DLLs Installer, D3D Installer, API Set Installer, and lastly, Kernel Standalone Installer. After installing these updates, restart Windows XP. After the restart you should find new entries in the compatibility tab, starting from Windows Vista, to Windows 11. Now, download 32-bit Chrome, preferably in an archive instead of an installer. You can find such archives on chromium.wolis.com. Extract the archive, preferably in CE, go to the extracted files, right click on chrome.exe, and click send to desktop. Right click the chrome shortcut, click properties, and add these arguments in the target. No sandbox, or slave audio, and disable exclusive audio. Apply the changes and launch the chrome shortcut. If Chrome launches after about 10 or so seconds, congratulations, you have successfully installed Chrome 100 on Windows XP. If Chrome didn't launch, try reinstalling the updates, or check if the arguments have a typo. Well, this is great and all, but how well does it work, is what you're probably asking. It works. Exceptionally. Although it can display websites, text, videos and so on like every other browser, you can't actually download anything. The save dialog is non-existent, and if you manage to bypass it, you'll just get an error anyway. And that was only one of the many issues you'll run into. The browser doesn't play any sound, it can sometimes put heavy load on the CPU, the browser sometimes hangs the system for a minute or two, and so on. Basically, it's not the best browser for daily use. Although it works, you're better off using MyPal 68 or 360 Chrome. However, Chrome 100 isn't the only application one core API can run on Windows XP. You can also install the latest version of Ain't, Rufus, Adobe Reader DC 2017, Windows 7 games like Street Fighter V, Crisis 1 to 3 and DirectX 10 mode, the built-in Windows 7 games, and so on. But, that's about it for this video, thank you for watching.